Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Resonant Rise. I'm here with Kate, as usual. Hey. Although I think she's going to go off and do her own thing today while I talk yes. and work on some projects here, because she wants to go adventure. She's just going to listen. I, I'll listen and go, mm-hmm, at the appropriate moments. Ah, yes, well. <laughs> <laughs> so today... Also, oh god, oh god, help me, help me, please. Yeah, except I won't have any clue where you are, so good luck. Well, I'm going to start by clearing out the... Um place with the stuff. The place with the stuff. Yeah, the where we set up that uh, extra book the other day. Yeah, where did we put the uh, return... That's the goblin... The goblin yeah, place. where did we put the return book? I have no idea. Okay. Well, that will be marginally unhelpful. I thought you had it. Nope. I thought we put it somewhere in the... I don't know. That's fine. I I've... Care. Grab, a, grab a book before you go and set it before you come back. Okay. Here. I'll make you one. Coming down. Because cool. I have no idea where the return link book went, so. Okay. Because we've got, yeah, the Nether Fortress, the Nether Transfer, and the Twilight Forest here, so. Okay. I am not sure how to set books. I have never done that before. Oh, it's real easy. And it's been a while since I, since we talked about it. So, you need a linking panel, and, which there should be. Okay, we'll go over this real quick. Uh, linking panels are made in this this one right here. The mm -hmm. but one? yeah, so just grab one of those. Go grab a piece of leather from our system. Okay. And then combine the two to make a uh, an unlinked a descriptive book. And then just put it on your hot bar, hot bar and right click it at the location you want to return to. There. So go to the goblin place and set it there by right clicking okay. it on your hotbar. Just don't keep it on your hotbar so you don't activate it until you're ready. Okay, so. So. Book and leather. Mm-hmm. Yeah, page and leather. Together. Do they have to be in, in a special it's, crafting? No, it's not shaped. It's unshaped craft. Shapeless crafting. Okay. Uh, just do it in your inventory. Yeah. Yeah, because I've got those okay. tape. And then I go to the thing and... Right click it. I, I had set it in front of the uh, lectern at the uh, uh, at the in inside of the building. Okay. Okay. You 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 can't miss it. It's it's there's a already one a return book already set up there. Yeah. I actually don't know where it went. Oh, that's weird. Nope, it's not in here. I don't know what I did with it, Kate. So just set it there and then put it in my uh, ender chest so that if I die horribly, I can just go grab it and set it up to go. Yep, that would do it. That would do it. I am going to set some stuff up today. Because we have insane quantities of materials coming in. Like, this is insane. I've upgraded this barrel here that's getting the comatite. But I am getting really tired of crafting the basics. So at the recommendation of a couple of our viewers, um, we're going to make a build craft assembly table. It's a bit of a leap of technology for us. Uh, the assembly table is basically a uh, laser etching system. So basically like your uncle's uh, laser engraving table. Mm-hmm. Crazy. So, yeah. So it takes the... Uh, and so it uses laser... Assembly table uses lasers, which I have got the recipe for right here, which is just redstone, diamonds, and obsidian, to uh, make, the, make, make various items, including um, items that will make it cheaper to make um, some of these pipes we've been working on. Anyways, it was just a recommendation to make some of this a little cheaper and easier because you can manufacture these in bulk as well. And they're actually required for some of the more advanced items. So if my understanding and memory are correct, because I've actually seen one of these before. This goes here, and I'm almost 100% certain this is not an adequate quantity of power, so take this with a grain of salt right now. Okay, so do I have to take this nether hub book off of the thing to make this work? No, 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 that, that's the return book. That's the book that'll get you... Oh, it's in the nether! Uh, duh. The return book's in the nether. Never mind. You don't have to set it. Remember, you have to go through the nether for okay. anything in the overworld? I completely forgot. Okay. So the book is in the nether. The book's in the nether. So, so, just, so, just, okay. so just throw the unlinked book in the system for safekeeping. Okie dokie. Alright, so apparently these go 
would need to go one. Ah, heck with it. We'll do this differently in the a later date. So what I do is I link the lasers up to the hopefully to these. Throw some iron, some redstone, and some gold in the assembly table. Tell it to make golden chipsets, and watch as they attempt to get enough power to do the job. Hey, not bad. And then we probably need a box for it to go into. It's actually not doing too bad. Um, I don't know exactly how much power it takes, but uh, or how much power it can accept, but that's not half bad. I'm sure I can add more lasers to this though. The thing can actually be, the number of lasers you put on it actually improve its uh, functionality. Cool. I'm gonna go grab a box to put stuff in. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to prepare for the other half of today's work, which is going to be teaching our system how to make things. Because there are things we are going to need a lot of in the near future. And... There are zombies breaking down my door. Actually, why would I do that? When I, I mean, I'm not there, but oh. they're trying to break down my door. I wonder where this went. That's a question I don't have an answer to. Where is this stuff going? honest answer is I don't know but we'll see here in a second hopefully it goes into this chest right behind it I placed a chest next to it and if it goes in there then we're set yep it does good stuff so the only thing I don't know how to do is how to teach tell this thing to make specific items yet like remotely so I'll have to think on that okay but so Next is the logistics crafting table, which is just a bunch of wood, a crafting table, chests, and some stone gears. And these are awesome when combined with crafting pipes, which are also reasonably inexpensive to make. Stone gear, redstone, and a basic logistics pipe. We'll do that. Get my basic logistics pipe and a um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. redstone and what we're going to do is we're going to teach our system how to craft to start the things that we need to make more of these things so the most logical place to start is teaching the system how to make more logistics pipes right that would make sense yes well ah death okay and so I'm also going to need... Zombies are Whoops, swarming. come back here. That's not cool. Yeah, well, it's zombie apocalypse out there. Oh, God. Part of the fun, remember? Yeah. So I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we need a uh, crafting logistics pipe to do this. Pretty sure. We're going to assume we do. So I'm turning one wall of our base in our basement into a crafting wall. Okay. So it's going to have crafting tables up against the wall, set back a little, but there's pipe number, item number one. How did it wind up with essence dust? That's weird. Where did that come from? Who knows? I must have accidentally hit the essence box. All right, well, let's see if I can remember how to do this. So the way crafting pipes work is you tell them what you're sending it and what it should get back, or what it needs and what, what you want to get back from it. So if we start with, say, gears, uh, wooden gears, uh, or at least you know all the, 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 the basic gears that we need, because we're gonna need wooden gears and stone gears. And we're actually running low on wooden gears, if you can believe it. Can you believe really? that? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny, eh? So there's some very basic things we need to teach it here, because we need to teach it how to make jungle wood into planks, how to make planks into sticks. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Ah, swarming, swarming. Swarming, swarming. doom. You okay there? Swarm uh, maybe. Zombies are eating your face? No. Nope. Uh, I... I growed the whole floor worth of goblins. 
Okay, so okay, so we need to teach it that one jungle wood log turns into four jungle wood planks. Okay. I don't know what the rest of this does off the top of my head, but oh, right, that's satellite. So, so now we know that now it knows that if I have no jungle wood planks in the system, I can get them by taking a jungle wood log and throwing it in a class in a crafting bench. All right. And likewise, we can tell it that one that two planks. Sorry, um, come on, you silly thing. Two planks becomes now what is this? in vanilla it's two planks become four sticks which basically means two planks are one one gear so four sticks gets you one wooden gear and then in the crafting table you set the recipes okay I may be at a half a heart Oof. okay well after my runic armor and everything. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. This is one of the things we've been talking about is maybe we need to get some potion making going here. Well, I have a potion. Oh, well, then you should probably use it. Well, I'm out of actual combat, so I'm just going to sit here for a minute. Okay. Go. Whew. So what I've done is I've taught the system how to make wooden gears, how to make, well, basically how to make jungle wood planks sticks and wooden gears right so that so now if I go and grab all the wooden gears actually I don't even have to do that see on the um, on the uh, request item system you can just tell it that you want to only have see things that you can craft just by top making a toggle on the thing so now all, what I'm looking at is just things that I can craft right now so I can tell it I want some jungle wood planks like so and a few seconds later it goes down to the crafting table and in a second it should come back out this out into my face it says here in fine print mm -hmm. assuming I did that right I think I did that right let me see if that thing's uh, sparkling in my f sparkling oh. I think it's done its thing maybe I already got it oh it got me why didn't you run away? Uh, cause he came up and I... Okay, so it was the king dude? Yeah. And I got him and he broke in half and then the top half of him came after me and I was not ready for that. Ah, gotcha. Alright, well at least you can get back there fast. Let me know if you need me to come along and give you a hand. But... Okay. Let me do this. So I have two wooden gears on me right now. I will tell it I wanted to craft two more wooden gears. And boom, really quick, holy smokes. Probably because there's lots of sticks in the system, but there we go. So now, if we proceed with the uh, ongoing, I guess I might as well teach it that, um, I suppose I'm gonna have to teach it how to make, oh, I wonder if I can teach it to ignore um, or dictionary. Well, I should probably just teach it to use comatite because it's for some of this stuff, because it's not as if we're short on it. <laughs> yeah. We kind of have a stupid amount of this uh, comatite, and it's still coming in insanely fast. So let me get a bunch more of these crafting tables, and I mean, we'll I'll do some of this a bunch of this off camera. In fact, I'll get all these crafting tables because I'm actually going to teach it to make the next item I need to make more of these crafting tables. And you call it village villa? That's awesome. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Alliteration, right? Yes. Okay, so put two more crafting tables here. The, par the hard part is that I won't be able to access these um, things once I'm done here. A wooden gear and four cobblestone of that particular type gives us one, or will give us one stone gear once I program it. That and that and all I have to do now is give it a sample of the or maybe I can do it without hold on hit import aha if you hit the import button in the automated crafting table it just imports the, wh the whatever recipe it can find based off of what you are 
um, what you have in your in the import. That's good. Yeah, that is cool. Let me see if I can just do the recipe without actually having samples here. Whoa. That was weird. I just told it to open. I'm not sure what that did. <laughs> oh, ooh, that's not good. I think I have a crossfeed issue here. Yes, I do. Good thing I have a basic logistics pipe here, actually. You can still break stone by just punching it for a long time, right? Yeah. Yes, you can. All right, there we are. That should do it. Although that could be an issue in the future. I may have to find another way for this pipe to go around things here. Okay, skellies. Let's see. What are you doing? Let's get the stuff out of here. Yeah, it just randomly filled up with a whole bunch of stuff it didn't need. That was interesting. Speaking of randomly filling up with a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. ah. Your inventory? No, the zone of mobs. Ah. Okay. So, next up, iron. Actually, next up, we'll be teaching it to make crafting benches, um, chests, and then I can teach it to make these crafting tables. And that'll be a big job off the list. And then I'll do the same thing for logistics. Oh, God. Yeah? You okay? Um, I might need backup. Okay, just a second. Like, like now now, or...? Decide, decide quickly. I'm getting ready to come. Um. Okay, I think I'll be okay. Oh, okay. But if I die one more time, I'll need you to come with me. Okay, don't forget you've got that wand. Uh, in theory. In theory? It's down to my tombstone down there. Oh, you, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah that... My, my backup here at the moment. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. But I found some food, so I'm not starving anymore. Yeah. All right, well, let me know if you uh, require assistance, I guess. I will do so. Oops, I forgot. Oh, 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 oh. Crafting tables. Which should be if things go went right in the build craft box. No, they are not. Where did they go? In here, so something's going wrong with our sorting still a bit. That's okay. That's why we have a. That's why we have the logistics system. Now we don't have to worry even worry about sorting. Okay. So this one is programmed to produce stone gears. Done. This one's programmed to produce. Oh, the goblin boss has fifty hit points. Okay, so you require assistance. I do. Okay, give me one second to finish, just not lose my place here, because I've almost I've almost got this making uh, it's I've almost got this thing making these crafting benches. Okay. Come on. Come on, you thing. Did I miss? Yeah. A... No, the, the Goblin King has fifty hit oh, points, no. and I'm just the being... darkness around him is spawning scary things. Okay. All right, just let me grab the uh, crafting logistics pipes here. I've just got to teach it a couple more things quickly here, which your gear is going to keep, so. Yeah. I like the stones for that. Yeah. Well, most of the time. Yeah, until they start it's... spawning skeletons. Or until um, horrible things happen and your husband rage quits. Well, yes. Yes, there, there is that minor detail, right? A chest requires one, two, three, if four, you five, bring some six, food for seven, me, that would eight. Be yeah, awesome. I've got I've got a ton of apples Aww. on me. Oh? Yeah, the leg from that stool came off again. Okay, I think we're gonna have to just call it. Uh... Which sucks, cause it's just about perfect. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Four wood. Four wood. Man, this thing. There we are. Four wood, one stone gear, one crafting table, one chest makes a logistics crafting table, and then we program. There might be an easier way to do this. In fact, I'm sure I will be informed. 
<laughs> that there's an easier way to accomplish what I'm doing right now, but uh, for the moment, we now have the ability to craft crafting ta uh, craft logistics crafting tables automatically. Auto magically. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I have my wand is fully charged. I have upgraded. I actually upgraded my um, armor. I have cool. energized two pieces of energized armor now. Nice. So, which uh, should recharge its. Uh, I actually have a full set of the armor. I've got. I'm gonna take off my jetpack and throw on another piece of this armor. So Kate is tackling a dungeon she found a while ago. Um, we cleared out most of it except for the basement where the Goblin King is. And yeah. he's kicking my butt. Okay. So you say he's got 50 hit points, which is a bit of a scary thought. Yes, he has 50 hit points and he is... So where... There you are. things in the dark. Okay. Do you have um, blocks on you? Uh, there's oh, blocks... I'm there's... just going to steal them from this pillar. Kate, there's, there's a pile of birch and stuff in the box here. Okay. That's fine. I just need to block up these doors because they got smashed in... Oh, not those ones. They got smashed in by zombies. A few too many entrances? Yeah. And I didn't bring any torches with me. That was silly. Uh, Do you have torches I, on? Are there torches I, in your gravestone? Yes. Okay, then we'll take it from there. So I also uh, amped my uh, sword up. I have okay. I have 14 hearts of damage now. Cool. Can I have food? I gave I left food in the box for you, Kate. Oh, I didn't. There was half a stack of apples there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I thought I said that to you when I arrived. Well, you but... said you had apples. You didn't say that you ah. left it in the box. Okay, I just missed saying something. Okay, so he's right down there on the bottom floor, is he? Uh, okay, down on the bottom, and then the bottom, and then the bottom, bottom. Here. Whoops. I don't know, I just... Him and a crap ton of... Well, I just accidentally broke a torch or something here. Okay, well, I have to go all the way around because I don't fly at the moment. Alright, well, show me the way down because it would be easier to go in the safe way. Then I don't have to wear my jetpack. I can take a horrible risk and wear my um, full set of runic armor here. Way down is the way around this other side. Yep. There it is, okay. I come? I'm coming. Yeah. And then we gotta go around the other side. Okay. Get down on the second floor. Of course second we're... Alright. So we can't see him right now? Uh, no. Whoops! He's at the bottom of those stairs. Well, apparently I have a Boots of the Traveler, so... I don't see him. Try coming up the stairs. Oh, there's a gravestone there. He might be stuck. Watch it. Um. Yeah, he's up at the stairs. Yeah, here he comes. Okay, guys. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Wow. That sucked. And I spawned back at the main, the original spawn. Oh my gosh. Okay. The good news, whoops. The good news mm -hmm. is that you pulled them all the way across the room so I can get my gravestone. Okay, well that's something at least. Of course it means I have to go run back to, I need to set up a small outpost there with a book to get back to our nether exchange. Because every time, every time I, something, about half the time something goes wrong, I wind up back at original spawn instead of at our base. Huh. And it's really annoying me. Freaking get over here, you jerk face. Yeah, that's what I get for not attacking him the smart way. Oh well. So you want to hold off until I get there? Would uh, you? Probably a good idea because he is kicking of our butts. Okay, I'm gonna cut here and I'll be right back when I've recovered my gravestone. Or what? Sorry, when we're when I'm back with Kate. Okay, so here's the plan. Kate is going to draw aggro with her while flying with her jetpack from the Goblin King, so that I can go down there and hopefully get my gear back. Oh, after first she... I'm going to kill these skeletons. Yeah. Now you'll probably have to go to the ground to attract him. Yeah, that's fine. But just blast out of there real fast. Is he coming, or is he not following? You? Uh, he's going around the stairs. Okay. Fine, cool. I'm over here. Alright, is he is he almost gone? No, he's still 
No, he's still too close to you. Okay, well. Okay, is he following me or is he following you right now? He's running around me in circles. Okay. You think you got him? I think I might, yeah. Okay, well, if I die, I die. Is he... He's coming after me. And he's drinking his potions. Little jerk. Bastard. Oh! Oh, my God. All right, I'm running for my life. Shoot. I got him. You got him? I got him. What, you killed him? Yep. Oh, okay. Cool. I got we we got each other. It was the classic. You can kill me if you want, but it's gonna cost you. Mutually assured destruction. Yep. I'll be back in one second. All right, that's good. Oh my god! But gear. now you just have to deal with skeletons. Here comes my charge. Oh, it's interesting. The charge comes back at one item on one item at a time, which means that the charge may actually be, the abilities of these things may actually be uh, shared. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Just an interesting possibility. I'll throw that armor. That's actually pretty decent armor, I think. I'll throw that in my backup bag. Uh-oh. I hear a zombie. Uh -oh. I hear a zombie. Okay. I'm coming down. Oh, yeah. You're here already, are you? Yeah. Coolness. Oh, boy. Oh, a sort of a Zephyr in here. A depleted ancient staff? Oh! Oh, 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 I just oh. got moonlight. Moonlight? Yeah. It's the sword he was using. Cool. Here, let me pop Can this. You... Yeah. Done. Thank you much? Um, there is a really... Oh, there's two sort of the Zephyrs here. And another awesome. Master of Blood. Oh, God, it's in... 48 golden apples. Whoa! But, check this out. This is cool. That is cool. Sword of the Zephyr. Hoe of growth. Yep, Two we've diamond got... blocks. Depleted ancient staff. Yeah, that depleted... And music. And an affinity tome for earth. That ancient staff is uh, really cool. I, I think that we can do something neat with that. It's actually a Biomes of Plenty item, you see. <laughs> Two Zephyr Swords, that's awesome. Yeah. Into the system with you for now. Can look at those later. And uh, do you have any tor torches on you? We should light up this place nope. just so it doesn't keep... I, I don't have any torches on me. I thought you had the torches. Uh... Oh, one of these focus pouches is yours. Just realized... Probably the one that has fire and equal trade in it. Maybe. Uh, no, I didn't make fire. Oh, okay. So that one's mine then. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I gotta remake the rest of my collection. I lost so much. Oh, and here, scribing tools for you. Those are yours as well. Okay, I'm coming out into the light. Check this out. Ready? Ready? Yep. Ready? Ready. I have a shield. Oh, cool. That's the uh, Goblin King sword? Yep. Neat. That is cool. Only plus attack damage. It's plus six attack damage, but... Yeah, Goblin unlike sword. this broad sword of doom here, which... Yeah. Had, for, all, for all the good it's actually done us. Oh my gosh, I just hey. found... A, there's a chest hiding in the corner here. Nice. Whole bunch of stuff. Various shards. Three and four. Useful things. Water shard. Mm-hmm. I'll system all those. Cool. Another, ooh, another Thaumium Grafter. That's cool. Well, send it all home. And then... Oh, grout. Right. Good stuff. We'll need that eventually for expanding. Oh, I have your Thaumometer, too. Jeez. Cool. You can come get it. There we go. All right, cool. Well, all right. That's... We have now officially claimed this place and chased out the Goblin King. Okay, cool. Well, I will be heading heading back to base and getting a few more of these crafting things done, and then we will. I will show off 
one of the more interesting things that the crafting system can do. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. That was, that was scary. I shall return. <laughs> welcome back, everyone. Kate is back here to assist me with the final test of the evening. Of course, she's. Hello here. again. So what I need you to do? <laughs> uh huh. What you doing? Uh, testing something, but I can hold off on that. Okay, no problem. What I need you to do is uh, look in there and look for crafting a crafting logistics pipe. In. In this the request in... pipe. Okay. Yep. Now. Crafting. Yeah, that should do it. Logistics pipe. Crafting should. Okay. Do, just the word crafting should do yeah, it. Yeah, I did that. So. I found it. As everybody will see here, there are a lot more um, crafting tables here. Okay. Um, so you notice that there's zero of them in the system, right? Yep. Uh, request one. One. Oops. One. Request. Okay, this is going to take a minute because... It says what... I am missing. Yeah. What did it say? It says I am missing crafting logistics pipe. What, it didn't let you... It didn't request it to craft? Nope. Hmm. It says you are missing. I mean, it's showing up in my thing even though there aren't any, but... Uh... You should have the option to just craft it. You know, I haven't actually tested multi-stage crafting here. All right, so if I hit request, missing one crafting. Oh, no, that means it's crafting. Oh. It should mean that the, the stages are, it's going through the steps necessary, I think. Okay. Oh, 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 no, I made a mistake. I made a mistake here. Just okay. a second. Um, hold on. Um, well, hopefully that doesn't mess anything up too much. Okay, I requested like three of them. So. All right. Well, it won't it won't hurt anything. I set the I accidentally set the. Uh, all right, res do a search again. Search for a crafting logistics pipe. Okay. Okay, and try requesting the one that just showed up now. If everything went according to plan, yes, there's sparkles starting to form here. Hopefully, did it? What did it say? Request ah, successful. Excellent. One crafting okay. logistics pipe. All right. The thing is now craft. Uh, there's stuff flying into the system here. And wow, that was fast. There should be one coming in your hands in just a second. Hey. Hey, look at that. Nice. So that thing crafted diamond pipes, cobblestone pipes, iron gears, um, logistics pipes. The whole works all at nice. once. And if all went according to plan, should have dumped all the excess somewhere. Yep, the excess is starting to arrive now. Okay, which nice. bank of weirdness is this? Downstairs, there's a whole bunch of things that look like big wall, a big wall of gears. Okay, the big wall of gears. Yeah. So I want you to stand here and watch these pipes, and I will okay. let you watch the fun just quickly before we call it a night. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, you silly thing. Just a second. Okay. I have a suicidal skelly here. Oh, stuff started flying in here. Hmm? I haven't done anything yet. Okay, well, I don't know what it's doing, but... Interesting. It might be There's... making the crafting, the logistics pipes. Uh-oh. Yeah, your outstanding crafting requests may have created some issues. Okay. Oh, well, I'm just going to leave the extra bits here. Um, there's no sense in crafting a ton of extra stuff, although we are going to need it eventually. Here it comes. You should see a whole bunch of stuff fly into one of the pipes there. Oh, yeah. You see the pink sparkles? And there's my pipe. Cool, eh? Crazy talk. So now we have a system that will build uh, the pipes that we uh, build cool. the basic components of our logistics system. Awesome. And in fact, I'm going to add one more here. Because I figured out how to add uh, recipes based off of um, uh, NEI. The, mm -hmm. You just shift click it. You click it into the, you just question mark it into the uh, system. Ah. And then you use a wrench and you tell it to import the recipe from the crafting table. And bingo. Now we have the ability nice. to craft the Mark II crafting pipes. Which craft 16 items at a time. 
Cool. Instead of just one. So, which we may actually have to upgrade the whole this whole fool system to before we continue. <laughs> but fortunately, because of the ability to import recipes straight from the crafting tables, that will be really straightforward. Nice. So that's, I think, what I'm going to do off camera. And in the next episode, um, I'm going to look at doing something a little fancier. Uh, probably involving these uh, machines down here that require... that we're going to be requiring a ton of parts from for future projects. Sound good? Sounds awesome. Okay. But we'll pick that up in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. See ya.